Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D honeycomb texture in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, first I'll start a new document. So I'll come up here to Create New. I'll come up here to Web, and then I'll choose Minimum, and then we'll Create. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I want to use some really bright colors, and RGB is the best for bright tones like that. Okay, let's pull up our swatches palette. Mine's right over here, but if you don't see it or any of these windows, you can come up here to window and just choose it right here in this list. Okay, so I'm on swatches and I'm just going to come up here to the flyout and we'll open swatch library. I just want to get a few good colors for my honeycomb pattern. Okay, let's come over here to nature and seasons. And this will give us some options here. I'm probably going to use these two and maybe one of the ones up here. So I'm going to keep this open. Let's grab our polygon tool, which is underneath our rectangle. And I'm just going to hold shift and drag a polygon. So the top and the bottom will be parallel. Now I actually want to have a point at the top. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard and then just hold shift until I have the point at the top. Now if you don't have snap to point on, we'll need to turn that on so it'll make it easier to copy and paste this shape. Let's go to view and you'll notice that snap to point is right down here. You'll need to have a check mark beside it. So with our selection tool, let's click right on this point, hold shift and option or alt on a PC. And then when we get close to this one, it'll snap and you can see your cursor change when it's close. And then just release. And now we can hit Command D or Control D on a PC to duplicate that same transformation. So hit it a few times to get all of your little beehive cells. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'll grab this point and hold Option or Alt and snap right in here. Now I'll select everything and do the same thing again, holding Option or Alt. And then I'll hit Command D or Control D on a PC to transform again. So we have all of our honeycomb shapes now. Now I want to add a gradient inside of these. So first I'll select everything. I'll group that with Command G or Control G on a PC. Now I'm going to open up my season swatches and I'll get my gradient open also. So we'll go to Window Gradient. And I'm just going to click in this area and you'll see you've applied a gradient to all of them. Now you might not have the fill in front, so make sure you have clicked on the fill and then click on the gradient. We actually don't need an outline right now, so I'm going to click on that and get rid of it. Okay, now let's change this gradient. I want it to be a radial gradient, which is the center one here. So we'll change it to that. Oops. Uh, make sure you're on your fill when you do this. We'll change it to a radial gradient, and now I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to grab this color and drop it onto my gradient right here. And then I'm going to grab this red color and pull it on the other slider. Now with my selection tool, I'm going to copy this and then click off and paste in front. That's Command F or Control F on a PC. And for this one, we don't want to fill, we just want an outline. So I'm going to switch these and then click on my outline. And I think I'm going to give this an orange outline. You can barely see it, so let's increase the size of the stroke a little bit. Now, if you don't see this bar up here, you can always go to Window and Control, and that'll turn it on and off. All right, so we've got one outline, and now I'm going to make another outline that's moved over and up. So let's copy this. Then I'll click off and paste in front again, Command F or Control F. And now with my arrow keys, I'm going to move this one up a little bit and over. And this one, I think I want to make it a really bright yellow. Okay, let's select that yellow outline and the orange outline behind it. And now we'll come over here to the blend tool and let's double click this. I want to choose specified steps here and about 15 is good. So we'll say, okay. And that's only changing what's going to happen when you make the blend. It doesn't actually make the blend. So now we need to use the blend tool and click on one and then click on the other one and it will blend those two together. So if we zoom in right there, 
you can see that our little cells have a raised area because of the blend. And that's it. That's how to make a 3D honeycomb design. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.